Welcome back to Chris Builds. This is episode four on making this triple clamp out of aluminum. In the last episode, we machined all the radiuses on the part on the rotary table, and now we're gonna do the last milling operation. In this episode, we're gonna do the slot and the bolt holes that are at a 45 degree angle on this triple clamp. And that'll turn this triple clamp into actually a clamp that can grab the fork tubes and the steering stem. There's gonna be some really interesting mill setups on this video. I have to rotate this milling head 45 degrees to machine this. I've never done that before. I think it's gonna be really interesting. So let's get started. Okay, so what's my plan of attack for milling the bolt holes and the slots for these triple clamps to allow these fork tube holders to actually clamp down on the fork tube? Here's my drawing right here. You can see that these bolt holes come in at a 45 degree angle and there's two of them. So I think the plan is to clamp the triple clamp in the milling vise standing straight up and down like this. So then the milling cutter will be on this axis right here. So I think what I'm gonna do is rotate the mill head to a 45 degree angle. And that'll allow me to machine these bolt holes at a 45 degree angle and do the drills, the tap, the counter bore for those. And then after that, I'm gonna come in with this slitting cutter and come in at a 45 degree angle again through the part like this. I think the challenges here are primarily inexperience on my part. I've never moved my milling head to an angle before and tried to mill on a 45 degree. That'll be really interesting. I'm curious to see what kind of force it exerts on the part and if it'll remain rigid while I'm doing that. I've also heard these milling cutters are quite terrifying. <laughs> I've never used one of these before, so it'll be a first time. I've also heard that they need to run at a pretty low speed. And I know for a fact that my mill does not turn very well below 300 RPM or so. So that's a challenge for sure, but hey, Let's get the part into the milling vise and give it a try. Okay, I think this is going to be the setup to get these holes drilled. Are you scared? I'm a little scared. If things get a little nuts, I might put a jack under here to give it a little bit more support. But most of the forces are going to be going this way, I think. Well, let's give it a try. Got my terrifying murder saw set up, ready to cut this triple clamp. I've checked and double checked the clearance with the top of the triple clamp. I have no idea what's about to happen. Let's try it out. time with the slitting saw. I'm pretty happy with that. 
I only felt like it was trying to kill me for a little bit, but once a bunch of the teeth got engaged with the work, it actually started going pretty easy. Ignore this little smash on the end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that. Don't worry about that. Not sure if you can hear this, but turn the sound up. One more time. cut with the sledding saw I will be very happy to be done with this setup I think this is the last machining operation oh wait no I still have to tap some holes but yeah we're getting close tapping threads it's important to purge the nitrous first ready oh, gotta get both of them okay i think that's gonna be it for part four on this triple clamp i got all the features done that required me to turn the milling head and i gotta say that it went pretty well I've never turned the milling head to a 45 degree angle like that before, so that was a first. And I've also never used a slitting cutter. So considering my inexperience with those two factors, I'm pretty happy with how this went. So next episode, I'm going to go through all the parts that I screwed up on this and then clean it up with the Scotch-Brite wheel on the die grinder and a Scotch-Brite pad and see if I can make it look a lot nicer. So that's what's next. Thanks for watching.